Hey everyone, Guardian E here with another summon video in Epic 7. And today we're going to be summoning on the new limited summon banner for the limited unit, Holiday Euphine. So they finally did it. They, they actually did it. They basically took a character that was out of my wish list and made a swimsuit version of her just like I would have wanted, and she looks absolutely amazing. So we're going to be going in for her. As you can see, I do have enough bookmarks to get to the pity. Our goal is to not get to the pity. Um, so hopefully we can avoid that, and hopefully we can get that artifact as well, since that's very useful for her. Uh, so let's just let's just get started. Uh, we're hoping... Uh, every time we get a golden flash, that means that it is going to be a 4 to 5 star. Obviously, we didn't get one here, so this is going to be a 3 star artifact. And... Yeah, okay. So we'll just keep on trucking along. Ooh, there's that golden flash. Can we get her on the second pull? I have yet to get a really lucky summon in, uh, in Epic 7. Okay, it's going to be a 4 star hero. Okay... Coley, I have I have multiple copies of her. Um, don't know if I have enough to fully SSS, but I have a bunch. But like I was saying, any like summon session, I've never I've never been lucky. In fact, I've pretty much re you know resigned myself to having to pity every time. Daily summons, I've gotten random five stars. I really have um, some pretty good ones at that. But in terms of like when I go in on a banner, it 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 never really ends up in my favor. So I'm hoping that things change today. Today, I'm hoping today is the redemption story. That Holiday Euphine understands my struggle, and she's a sweetheart, and she decides to show up super early with her artifact as well, because that would let me save some bookmarks for whatever else is coming, because God only knows what's around the corner. Um, but nevertheless, I did scrape and grind enough to, uh, to get enough for the pity, so we are getting her regardless. We're going all in. Uh, it's just a question of whether or not we're going to have to. Now, in preparation for, for baiting Euphine and getting her to, to show up for us, I did, uh, I picked up for, for dinner uh, some burgers. Well, a burger. I got a cheeseburger from Five Guys. So I got a Borgor for her. Um, and I, I was trying to get some, some jerky, or uh, not jerky, uh, some like kebabs and stuff like that thematically for the story, but uh, there wasn't really a place open that that had anything like that. <gasps> okay, we're getting a four star. Could it be? Did she smell the burger? It's an artifact. Could still be the artifact, but it's not. Four star artifact will be... Wondrous Potion Vial. I don't know if that's any good. I, th I think it's new for me. Um, so, I got yeah, I got a burger, and I also picked up some chicken nuggets. Or some, <clears throat> we're gonna call them dragon nuggets. For Euphine, because those are some of her favorites. So I'm hoping she understands um, that we're trying to appeal to her stomach, and she'll decide to show up. But so far, it has not panned out. Um, certainly, since we're going to be going to the pity anyway, uh, getting an artifact at least would be useful, um, or the the focus, the the banner artifact. The feature artifact, um, it is it has a slightly higher rate. It has like above a 1% rate, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Euphine herself on this banner is going to have a 1% rate. And uh, four to five star heroes, I think, have like a 5% rate total. Which is why we end up getting a whole heck of a lot of these summons without a golden flash, which I'm just skipping through at this point. So anything that's not a golden flash, I will be skipping through because... It's not going to be new for us. It won't be new. And uh, I, I, I always end up like surprised at how many of these summons do not have golden flashes, but I shouldn't be because I know the rates. I looked them up. <laughs> and it seems like my food temptations are not working out. But, uh, but we'll see. It's, the night is still young as far as this summoning session is concerned. Oh, boy. Yeah. Feels like it's been a while, right? And it has. The last time I summoned was on the Guilty Gear banner. Where I... 
Uh, had to go to the pity for El Felt, and I failed to get dizzy, and didn't even have an opportunity to go in for biking. So yeah. Um, in the meantime, I, what did I do? I pulled a random Melissa from my daily summons uh, not that long ago. So we've gotten some some recent luck. Man, this is this is always depressing. And I know I say this every time. They need a multiple function. I don't really get this. Like, wh wh two Terranor guards in a row? I mean, he's useful, but I don't need him. All right, so we're getting our first Golden Flash in what feels like an hour. Uh, this is going to be a hero, but it's a four-star hero. And that will be Angelica. Okay, very useful. Very useful. I have her. She's great. Um, not as critical as she used to be. But certainly still a good pull. What are, What is with these Terranor guards? I feel like we've got a Terranor guard right up here. Encroaching on our summer swimsuit pulls. Because that's what we really, really want. Getting a 4-star at least. Come on. Okay, is this... It's a 5-star artifact. I don't think it's guaranteed to be the artifact. We'll have to see. Uh, it is not the artifact. It is Sigurd Scythe. So... Uh, that's new for me. Warrior exclusive? Is it, is it any good? Art's beautiful. I always love the art on these epic artifacts. They're always gorgeous. But that is not Euphine's artifact. <laughs> oh wow, we're getting two in a row! Hey! That's like hitting the lotto. Just seeing that golden flash twice in a row is like... <gasps> what? We're getting two five-star artifacts in a row? Okay, can this one be the artifact? Because that would be really nice. Hey! There we go! Championships... Uh, championships? Champions Trophy! I, I was... I saw her, um... I saw her with the volleyball, and I was like, championship, so that's why I was saying. Um, yeah, no, this is great. This is great. We're getting it. Obviously, it's always a little dicey to get the artifact. You never know. You could always have bad luck. <gasps> Three yellow flashes in a row. That never happens. Can, can we pull it out with Euphine here? No, it's going to be an artifact. Four-star artifact. What do we got? What is it? Strat Gauntlet. That's not new. Could be, uh... I don't know. It could be useful, I suppose. Four golden flashes in a row. This is like, this is like, getting multiple five stars in any other game. Uh, that's gonna be a four star artifact. That is, ooh, Moonlight Dreamblade. I, I, this is not new for me, but that is some beautiful art. All right. Okay. All right. It's over. Dream is dead. Um, <laughs> no more goldens. That, that streak right there did make up for that lull. That was a, it was a very depressing lull without any golden flashes at all. So uh, that, that four in a row was, was pretty amazing, which means that we're probably not going to get anything. Uh, oh, these Terranor guards, man. These Terranor guards. Yeah. So Euphine's awesome. One of my favorite characters in this game. Um, so, naturally, I'm willing to go to zero for her, um, and we'll feed her everything that she needs. Uh, she is supposed to be a hard counter to Basar, which is fine. Um, oh, Hellcutter! Okay. That's fine. That's actually a pretty good artifact. Uh, so we actually, we've gotten a, a lot, a lot of four-star artifacts. Uh, we've only gotten one four-star hero so far, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it was two? I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> we're halfway through. So, so much for the redemption arc of us not having to go in very deep and getting a lucky first couple of pulls. At least we got the artifact. I mean, that's, there's something to be said about doing that. Now, Euphine is going to be limited, which means that the next opportunity to get Euphine is probably going to be in a year. Um, so that's why it's definitely worthwhile to go in for her now if you can. Looks like this is going to be a four-star hero. Okay. So our second or third four-star hero of today, that is going to be Shuri, who is um, who's okay. They're all right. Not new for me. But they're okay. I think at this point I have... Maybe not most of the four-star heroes, but a, a good number of them. All right, come on. No, another four-star hero. Could be new. 
Oh, Zerato, this is new for me. Take me on. All right. Genius Frost Mage who will freeze everything. I don't actually know how he is. Ugh, okay. All right. Uh, this portal. Well, I'm getting the sense that Euphine is, uh, she's having too much fun on the beach and eating way too much. She's not hearing my call, which means that I'm going to be forced to pity for her again. It's nice that we have the pity option. I mean, that's, that's certainly nice. And getting the Sky Stones for the bookmarks really, like, you know, it takes a while, but... I don't know. It was it was manageable. I actually had a, a good bit of the extended story to go through and, and get more Sky Stones, so I think that my judgment on that front in terms of income is a little inflated. But um, oh man, not good at all. Now, I know Crimson Ghost is also going to be summoning for Holiday Euphine. I don't know if he's going to give me the footage so we can combine our summons. Um, we didn't really talk about that, but certainly wishing him the best luck in going for her. I know that he kind of had to scramble because he went in super hard on Guilty Gear. Um, and I'm certainly wishing and hoping that all of you are getting better luck than I am um, because... We are, looks like we're going to have to pity, um, more or less, as, as per usual. Wouldn't be an Epic 7 Guardian E summon video without going to pity, right? Pretty sure... So I had to pity for Elfelt. I think I had to pity for... I don't think I had to pity for Vivian. I'm trying to think of who else. I don't know. It, it doesn't matter. It never feels good when it happens. Alright, 36 summons left. I mean, at least we got the artifact, right? These Terranor guards are freaking annoying as hell. Like, seriously. Okay, we got a chance here. It's gonna be an artifact, though. Four-star artifact, that is going to be... Uh, Aureus. This is not new for me, but again, oh god, these artifacts have beautiful art. They really do. Okay, alright. Come on, please, Euphine. Please, I've got dragon nuggets. No, that's an artifact. Getting a lot of artifacts, which is, you know what, artifacts are useful. Another <laughs> Moonlight Dream Blade. Uh, okay, that's fine. This is, uh, Ooh, oof. That's what it is. It's oof. Imagine if I didn't get the artifact. I would be really mad right now. I mean, I can't really be mad. I expected this to happen. You expected this to happen. You knew this was going to happen as soon as you clicked on that thumbnail. You knew when you saw it, and you saw that my name was on it, and I was summoning an Epic Seven, and it was all in for Holiday Euphine or Swimsuit Euphine or whatever we put on there. You knew that at that moment I was going to have to go to 121 in order to get her. Okay. Going to prove me wrong? Going to make it happen? Yeah? No, it's another artifact. They are being super stingy with the characters here. Helog Lance. Uh, Helog Lance, excuse me. Can't read. Okay. <laughs> Another three star. Lena's useful. Lena's useful to have, although I have a ton of her. Ancient Sheath. So it's really gonna be like that. It's really gonna be like that. Unreal. I've had I've had very odd luck lately. In in all the games that I play. I, I have gotten absurd, absurd luck. Like, like really absurd luck, and I've gotten absolutely atrocious against all odds luck. So, um, so having that pity there is useful because this could be one of those times where I would have had to summon 400 times 
and not gotten Holiday Euphine, which would have been devastating. I would have been extremely upset by that because uh, Holiday Euphine is a huge priority for me. Ten summons left. And, uh, and then that is going to basically be it. So, no redemption. If anybody was looking for redemption here like I was, you weren't going to find it. There's no redemption to be found, just just an empty Skystone wallet and some leftover chicken nuggets and a cold burger. <laughs> Actually, that's that's at least a saving grace. I'm hungry and I can uh, I can chow down as soon as I get you fiend here. Oh man. I am hungry and I am thirsty. Unbelievable. Like clockwork. Every time. Every freaking time we have to go to pity. Unreal. I swear. I don't know what it is about this game and why it hates me. <laughs> it's, it's just unbelievable. Every time. Alright, well, here we go. Finally. Hey, who's it gonna be? We're getting that that golden flash, the golden spark. Oh wow, what an amazing surprise! Hey, and there she is. All right, so as as mentioned, uh, Holiday Euphine looks absolutely glorious. Um, so I can't be upset after seeing her now. A lively dragon girl who is passionate about having fun and eating. I mean, what more could you ask for? Wow, there's delicious food everywhere I look. Oh, but now's not the time to daydream. I have to get in line. There really is delicious food everywhere I look. Truer words were never spoken. All right, well, let's um, let's take a quick look at her and her animations, too. We might as well, right? Showcase her a little bit. For her vacation, Euphine's visiting a resort with a special goal in mind. To try each and every dish she's never seen in Ezra. That is a noble, noble goal as far as I'm concerned. Um, so here she is, awesome, awesome, a dragon stomach specialty. She immediately digests everything she devours. Uh, let's take a preview of her skills here. May as well, right? I'll turn off auto real quick. So here she is in her idle stance, and we're going to go ahead and beat up on these uh, punching bags. We'll start with the... Oh, it's so cute. So the little uh, the little dragon that shows up there, it's unclear if they're a dragon or a... Or a, they're not a girl either, they're a, a little boy dragon. I haven't gotten uh, all the way into the story mode yet um, for the new event, so... I don't know if he has another role or anything like that, but she takes a takes a bite of these delicious kebabs, and it's a little too spicy, I understand. But she can't resist nonetheless. Uh, and then we'll go into the third attack enemy. Which is so awesome. Look at that. That is so awesome. Oh, they really pulled out all the stops, and she deserves it. So that's great. So cute. And that looks delicious. Um, we'll use the burned version. <laughs> Adorable. So that's going to do it. Uh, we got your Holiday Euphine, which I am naturally very excited about. Um... But we had to pay for it. We had to pay. We had to pay her debt because she ate herself into debt, and we had to pay for it in Sky Stones. And then she was able to free herself and show up. So let me know in the comments below if you decided to pull for Holiday Euphine. I'm guessing most of you out there that play Epic Seven did, but let me know how you did, and hopefully you end up getting her artifact as well. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Epic Seven content. Certainly hoping that you're staying safe, healthy, secure, and united out there, and wishing the very best for you, your family, and your friends. And until next time, let's keep on grinding.